Hello everyone and welcome back to Train Sim World 2. Yes. We are here on the Long Island Railroad. And the reason I'm here is actually one of my subscribers, the Train Guy 4, actually brought me back for this. I was watching through his videos and he had a run on I believe it's the PlayStation version of Train Sim World. So he was out having a look at Long Island Railroad and I thought, you know what, I haven't run it for a while. Let's go and have a play, shall we? So, I'm going through the journey mode gradually again. I shan't be posting every video, but I thought, you know, let's go have a play with the M3, this is. Yeah. There's an M7 parked over to the left hand side. This is the M3, which is, as it sounds, it's an older multiple unit from the Long Island Railroad. And you can see, I have a bit of trouble getting through the doors. And I forget that they do automatically close themselves, so. Hey ho! One thing. I'm not too keen on this, look, is all the doors are open, even if there's not a platform there. For some reason, I can't operate that door unless you're sat in the seat. So we'll run through all the setup options, get the loco turned on. And it's using the keyboard for this. Usually, I use an Xbox controller but for some reason I figured I'd use the keyboard and mouse and whilst I'm not totally opposed to it it did take me a while to work out how to use a few functions but I have to say I do like this route and You know, I kind of like to play with it on Printing World 3. See what improvements there are to it. Is it any better or not? You know, because well, Printing World 3 has got to be better, surely. I just cannot justify the price at the moment. They keep swapping um, Dovetail Games promised us, oh we won't use the same old model for selling our product as they did with Train Simulator Classic. It was, we won't be doing yearly versions of our game. We won't have all this expensive DLC. And we won't be doing the same three main markets, i.e. Germany, UK, and USA. Well, we're now on Trenton World 3, and they're doing everything they said they wasn't going to do. So, wow. What can you say, really, about that, you know? It is what it is, I guess. Um, you either pay or you don't play. It's simple as that, and... The problem is, Dovetail Games do not have any competition in the market. There's Oran's Trains, which I, you know, it's a fun game. There's a lot of free DLC out there, you know. But anyone who's ever tried to use their marketplace to find assets, it's a nightmare and if you were to make a custom route or download a custom route trying to get all the assets for it absolute nightmare not to the faint of heart but so I don't consider that to be a viable alternative um, Simrail that you will have seen on the channel recently and we will be coming back to Simrail 
is an excellent game, but I don't think they're aimed at the same market. And the reason I say that is this is more of a casual, laid back approach to a train simulator. Yes, you can switch on the safety devices, which I haven't done on this run. I do intend to do that. I'm going to look how to do that for this loco or this unit. And yeah, I will be running that in future. So hopefully you'll join me when I upload a video doing that. But Simrail is on a whole other level and is for hardcore sim enthusiasts. This is a bit more laid back, but my issue is whilst I've come across very few game breaking bugs or bugs that have stopped me from being able to do a mission or something, there's very few of them, but there are issues, and unfortunately, Dovetail are just not in the business of fixing their problem. And they want you to keep paying out for more of the same, which is a shame. Having said that, I do have 20 routes that I own in total. Which, you know, why do I keep buying them if I don't like Dovetail games? Well, again, there's no real alternatives to it. So anyway, I'm going to come off bashing Dovetail for a while and their um, marketing approach and so on and so forth and just enjoy the game because when all is said and done, I do enjoy the Long Island Railroad. And I also have... Oh, we're doing a bit of speeding here. Yes. I do also have... the Norfolk Southern Horseshoe Curve to have to play with. I've not touched it yet, and I cannot believe I've not touched it. Because... Anyone who knows anything about me will know that I love that route in real life. I am a big Norfolk Southern fan. And, more importantly, the junior the loco work and associated sidings and everything at Altoona, which is just a few miles away from the Horseshoe Curve, is a place I'm fascinated with and I've modelled more than once in Transport Fever Transport Fever 2 so yeah we will have a look at that at some point on the channel who knows when but there is a lot of things coming this year actually I've got a whole bunch of games that I've not looked at on the channel before that I'm hoping to bring to you in the next month or so. I'm going to be doing the Model Railway series probably once a month maybe, those videos I don't know, but those are going to be early access videos for Patreon supporters and there'll be more information about that in the first video but there is a link to my Patreon in the description of every video, so if you are ever in a position and you want to financially support me, it will be very welcome. It will. Initially, the money will go towards more RAM. I need more RAM. And a new graphics card, ideally. I'm still running on an RX 480, which I can't complain, but, you know... It's not really optimal in this day and age. It's okay for medium settings, but if I want to show all the 
latest and greatest games are to their full potential. I need something a bit more powerful. A bit more up to date, really. But yeah, it's all that good stuff. And this Long Island Railroad on our screen. And yeah, I kind of need to scratch an itch on this because. I've been watching some real Long Island Railroad videos from um, retired rail fan horn guy, I believe his name is. I may have butchered that, but I will try and stick a link down in the description to his channel because he's very knowledgeable. He knows this stuff like back of his hand and yeah he's he's making me want to model the Long Island Railroad and the problem with that is I can't find any HO scale trains I can find stuff if you want to go back to 50s and 60s the, the old style passenger cars and Alco, Century Locos and stuff like that, which would be cool, but it's not what I know. I know what you see on the screen here, which is the Bud M Breeze, the M7. Kind of getting to know the M9s a little, but, you know, they're really new. And recently it's... it's DE30s and associated C cars. That's a push pull with a diesel set that only goes on certain branches. So, not available for Trainson World, which is a shame, but I kind of understand it because, well, they don't run around very much on what's modelled in this game. So they would come in... Actually, they would. Yeah. So they'd certainly run from Jamaica Station and out, and then Oyster Bay Branch. With the branch isn't modelled, but... Yeah. So they could potentially do that, but that means making a whole new model, and that means charging the spread for models, and yeah, unless they get everything else spot on on this, and consider extending to Oyster Bay, or some of the other branches that have the diesel locos, not really worth it. Do like that you can get some good high speed runs for here and go some slow stuff as well. Yeah, I, I guess this is probably a good point actually to throw it out to you guys if you're actually watching this and not just got it playing in the background and say, what would you like to see? from the channel in 2023. Would you like me to go do some real train spotting slash rail fanning? Because I've considered it, um, and I could certainly do that. Um, would you like me to take in a few model railway shows, possibly? That's an option. Well, Say that's an option. I am planning to go to a few this year, but would you like to see video footage of that? See what model railways are out there. What are people doing? You know, all that good stuff. So, yeah, let me know down in the comment. And if I was to ever do a model of Long Island Railroad. 
Which station do you think I should tackle? What do you think would make for a good model railway? Bear in mind I don't have unlimited room. I do have some other model railways that will need to be finished first. And so that means no suggestions of Jamaica station please because I just would not fit that in. So go and have a look and have a think. What I'm ideally looking for is something that would fit as kind of a display station kind of thing. Where I could have it all boxed in. Kind of like you will see on my first model railway video for Friday Bridge. So yeah, all nicely boxed in, contained little diorama if you will but it will be fully working and then if we get to that stage later in the year and then have ourselves a model railway based on a Long Island railway I can look into how we can possibly model the trains would be nice to have an M3 and an M7. Um, I don't imagine it will be all that cheap. But, hey ho. No. Just easing in to Jamaica Station now. Just giving a little nudge. Bring it to a stop. Okay. Insert the door key. No, let's not insert the door key because we can use Y and U on the keyboard, which I discovered before I did this run. I went and looked. Because on the controller, you can use the D pad bring up the menu and access the door controls but yeah on the keyboard Y and U we can just flick the doors it's so much easier than reaching up putting the key in turning the key pressing the button for the doors because I'm pretty sure that in real life they do not do that every single stop they may turn the key to deactivate the doors, but they wouldn't be you wouldn't take the key out and insert the key, turn the key. I'm sure they wouldn't. Because yeah, you want to just be doing the key nice and quick and be on your way. I see not switch the lights properly so yeah you should leave the headlights on dim and we'll go for a walk and this is actually the end of the scenario pretty much and how cool would it be to have an HO model of that train and also I'm not trying to be heightist or anything here, but do we seem a little short? We're walking along and we're the same height as the window, so same height as everybody else when they're sitting down. And yeah, look, we don't even come to his shoulder. No idea why all these people are still sat on the train. Yep, can't shut the door, Nick, unless you're sat down. So, not a great score, by any means. If you have done that run, the ferrying folks, and you've beaten that score, let me know down in the comments.
But anyway, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.